In the heart of the Texas Hill Country lies a hidden gem of natural beauty, the Edwards Aquifer. Beneath the surface, this vast underground water system serves as a lifeline for millions of Texans, providing clean, reliable drinking water, sustaining a delicate ecosystem that thrives above and below ground. The Edwards Aquifer is a vital resource for both humans and wildlife alike. The Edwards Aquifer charges the seven largest springs in Texas, including the Comal and San Marcos Springs, which are the two largest springs in the southwestern United States. The aquifer also supports some of Texas's most visited destinations, providing for the local economy. Imagine if this precious resource was further polluted by corporate greed. In 2017, Vulcan Materials purchased Eric White's ranch under the guise of an LLC named Blue Pine Holdings. The 87-year-old believed his property would be developed into residential housing. Little did he know, Vulcan had another plan. After learning what the land would be used for, Mr. White said he wouldn't have sold it for a quarry. Quarries are essential to development, but this proposed Vulcan quarry would span for three miles on top of the vulnerable Edwards Aquifer Recharge Zone, a highly sensitive area that is already polluted every day. Water in the recharge zone drains into caves, sinkholes, and faults like a funnel, filling the porous limestone underfoot. This type of landscape is called karst. The Edwards flows at a rate faster than other aquifers, bypassing the filtration process that protects water from contamination. To break rock from the ground, quarries use explosives made from ammonium nitrate and fuel oil called ANFO, essentially a mixture of fertilizer and diesel. According to a study published in the Mining News Digest, about 28 to 30 percent of ANFO used is not consumed in the quarry blast. Because ammonium nitrate is highly soluble in water, it leaches into the floor of mining pits and is a known source of nitrate pollution of groundwater. Any water that is recycled has the potential of dispersing nitrate elsewhere on the property. In Vulcan's water pollution abatement plan, a reported 37 sensitive features sprawl across the 1,500-acre site, including three caves and one sinkhole with a significant likelihood of infiltration. Interestingly, juxtaposed across the street lies a parcel of 158 acres with a reported 38 sensitive features. This stark contrast suggests that Vulcan's reported features may only scratch the surface, hinting at the potential for the site to harbor a magnitude of tenfold more unaccounted features. Could Vulcan be concealing the full extent of what lies on the property? Situated next to the West Fork Dry Comal Creek, Storm water and flooding could escape the quarry and dump into the creek, which eventually flows into the Comal River. Quarry berms are constructed to mitigate this, but have been known to fail and change the course of rivers. Mining will be just 25 feet away from a 100-year floodplain that is situated in the middle of the property. CMEX Construction Materials already uses Dry Comal Creek as a wastewater outfall. The creek flows under the Landa Street Bridge into the Comal River at the worst best grounds. The Guadalupe Blanco River Authority has reported that nitrate is significantly increasing there. The long-term economic consequences of compromising the Edwards Aquifer could far outweigh any benefits. Tourism, agriculture, and other industries reliant on the aquifer could suffer significant losses, impacting local livelihoods and economies. Water is our most valuable resource. We must ensure the preservation of the Edwards Aquifer for generations to come. Concerned citizens, environmental groups, and legal experts are joining forces to challenge the proposed quarry site. The message is clear. The preservation of the Edwards Aquifer is paramount, and the risks associated with the quarry are simply too great to ignore. 
We are now in a fight for water. Together, we can win this fight. <laughs> 